Welcome to Democracy 101 in 5. I am Yitsunde Bakari. Today, we'll explore how legislators wield their power to keep a check on the executive, ensuring accountability and proper execution of laws. Democracy 101 in 5 is an initiative of Yaga Africa with the support of the FCDO. The question is, how does a legislature perform oversight functions? We went on the street to ask some Nigerians. Let's listen to what they said. The main uh, function of the National Assembly is to oversee the oversight function of uh, the, the presidency and the other government parasitized. I feel the National Assemblies, they are responsible for basically um, implementation of laws. First of all, like they have to make rules. They have to know what they want and, they, and, and, what, they, and what they can do for the country. The functions of the uh, House of Rep, you are representing people. The legislature's power to perform oversight functions is backed by the 1999 Constitution in sections 81, 82, 88, 123, 128, and 129, as well as the standing orders of the Assembly. Oversight is the power given to legislators to act as a watchdog over the executive. This simply means the power to hold the executive accountable for his actions and for ensuring that it implements policies in line with the law and approved budgetary provisions as passed by the legislature. Section 88 of the 1999 Constitution specifically provides backing for the National Assembly and Section 128 provides for State Houses of Assembly on how to conduct investigation on any matter or affairs including ministries or government departments and agencies. Section 88 subsection 2 goes further to state how legislators should conduct oversight properly and fairly. It says, the powers conferred on the National Assembly under the provisions of this section are exercisable only for the purpose of enabling it to do the following. Make laws with respect to any matter within its legislative competence and correct any defect in existing laws. Expose corruption, inefficiency or waste in the execution or administration of law within its legislative competence and in the disbursement or administration of funds appropriated to it. Through oversight, the legislators can assess the effectiveness of government programs, ensure value for money in government projects, uphold the rule of law, and nip unconstitutional conduct by the government, asserting if the expenditure complies with legislative intent and reduce waste. Now, effective oversight doesn't happen in a vacuum. There are requirements the legislator must fulfill. These requirements effectively deploy oversight powers, and they include availability of oversight capacity. This includes material, technical, and financial capacity, and human insufficient quantity and quality. Availability of oversight tools, such as briefs received from NDAs, visits to NDAs, questioning, project inspection, engagement with the appropriation bills, public um, or investigative hearings, public petitions, confirmation or screening of nominees, interactive meetings, interviews, bill referrals, and resolutions. When oversight is done properly, it becomes an independent and powerful tool essential for entrenching accountability and promoting good governance. As citizens, it is important that we understand the oversight process to empower us to demand transparency and efficiency from our elected representatives. That's Democracy 101 in 5. We want to hear from you. You can reach us on any of the social media platforms at Yaga. You can also watch this episode and other episodes on our YouTube channel at Yaga One. Thank you for joining us on Democracy 101 in 5. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged. Bye for now.